Kirchhoff's current law states that the sum of all the nodes entering and leaving the current is equal to zero. You should also remember that the currents that leave a node have a positive sign and the currents that enter a node have a negative sign. So if we're trying to find the sum of all the nodes of all, of the, all the currents and node W, this is what we're gonna do. So since current IA is leaving node W is gonna have a positive sign, so A I A plus current ID is also leaving node W, so it's also gonna have a positive sign plus ID. However, current IB is entering node W, so it's gonna have a negative sign minus IB and current IE is also entering node W, so it's also gonna have a current a negative sign. So the sum of this should equal to zero. Now let's find the sum of the rest of the nodes. So for node W for node X we're gonna have uh, current I I1 is entering node X, so it's going to have a negative sign, so minus I1. Current IB is leaving node X, so it's going to have a positive sign, plus IB. Current IC is also leaving node X, so it's also going to have a positive sign, IC. And current I2 is entering node X, so it's going to have a negative sign, minus I2. And this should equal to zero. Now for node node y. Here I C is entering node Y, so it's gonna have a negative sign. Current I3 is entering entering node Y, so it's also gonna have a negative sign. And current I2 is leaving node Y so it has a positive sign and ID is entering node Y so it's gonna have a negative sign minus ID and this should also equal to zero. Now for node node Z here I3 is leaving node Z so it has a positive sign I3 no current IE is also leaving node Z, so it's also going to have a positive sign, plus IE. Current I1 is leaving node Z, so it's going to have a positive sign, plus I1. And the sum of these three should also equal to zero.